What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I have another WWE action figure set up for you guys and this time it is WrestleMania 34 edition. We are coming fast up on WrestleMania just a few weeks away. I'm so very excited. It is WrestleMania season right now. A lot of great things happening in WWE. A lot of great things happening in wrestling in general guys. So I just want to take you guys through this quick setup. Again it is WrestleMania 34 themed so let's go ahead and get started. So I guess we can start off in the locker room guys right here we have Bobby Roode at his locker getting ready for his triple threat United States Championship match he did lose his title at Fastlane to Randy Orton but he is looking to recapture it here at Wrestlemania 34 his debut match at Wrestlemania right here on this couch we have the uh, group of Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn talking about their matches at Wrestlemania are they going to be in the Battle Royal are they going to have a match with Shane McMahon are they going to have a match with Daniel Bryan are they going to even have their own match are they going to be thrown in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal they don't know that's what they're talking about here on the couch in the locker room just beyond them we have the WWE Champion AJ Styles at his locker listening to his music getting ready for his epic fantasy matchup with Shinsuke Nakamura absolutely should main event the show cannot wait for that match I know a lot of you guys are also excited for that just beyond him we have Seth Rollins turning Super Saiyan if you Super Saiyan if you will you look at him right there he is getting pumped up for his triple threat match as well his Intercontinental Championship uh, opportunity is before him against the Miz and Finn Balor Right here we have the SmackDown Live Tag Team Champion Usos. Wondering who they're going to compete with at WrestleMania. Well, you know, we haven't had a match yet booked, so it should be interesting for sure to see um, if we're going to get a triple threat match between them, the Bludgeon Brothers, and New Day. If it'll just be the Bludgeon Brothers and them, we haven't found out yet, but there they are, you know, confident Usos walking around in the locker room. Just beyond that, we have Finn Balor summoning the demon in his locker because you know it's going to take a lot to overcome Seth Rollins and The Miz at WrestleMania. I hope he does break out the demon uh, paint at WrestleMania. I think it should be, you know, it's his debut at WrestleMania. He should break it out. And he should probably win the Intercontinental title. If he, if he does bring out the demon for that match, he's got to win. And just to his left, our right, we have Kurt Angle, the general manager, returning to the ring in a mixed tag team match with his partner, Ronda Rousey against Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. He is ready to get in there. I wish this was his in-ring return for the first time in 11 years, but, you know, they blew that at TLC for no absolute reason. So uh, he's in his locker getting ready for his match. And if you come over here, you'll see this ladder. And this ladder has the cruiserweight, Cedric Alexander, looking over into Vince's office where the cruiserweight champion is on this uh, display table and he is, uh, you know, looking down upon it. I hope Cedric Alexander brings it home. I think he deserves it. I think him and Mustafa Ali should just tear the house down and I think they will. That is an amazing custom right there um, between me and BEW. We made that together. So, uh, beautiful. I hope Cedric Alexander does win the match. So, if we go through the locker room door right here, guys, you will go into the medical area where we see Daniel Bryan cheering because he has just been medically cleared. There's another angle for you guys right there. And just in front of him, we have the bar telling Braun that they are the bar. And uh, I don't think he gives a flying F, you know, as he's raising his arms right there. It should be interesting to see who tags with him to uh, take on the bar at WrestleMania for the Raw Tag Team titles. And here's another shot of that for you guys. Just beyond that, we have Shinsuke Nakamura stretching getting ready for his epic fantasy matchup like AJ is. Both guys seem to be very, very focused going into that match. Over here we have Triple H and Stephanie McMahon talking about how they're going to overcome Kurt Angle and Ronda Rousey in her debut. Should be interesting to see, but I doubt that they can overcome that massive tag team. And if we come down the hallway right here, we will see the Intercontinental Champion Miz uh, telling his wife Maurice that he is scared because you know he doesn't know if his baby is going to be delivered on the day of WrestleMania. What? Who knows if the Miz is even going to make it to WrestleMania? And if he does, he has a huge task in front of him, overcoming two of Raw's biggest superstars in Seth Rollins and Finn Balor. And then if we come down a little bit more, we'll see John Cena walking down the hallway with the urn of the Undertaker, trying to summon him out. You know he's called him out on Monday Night Raw multiple times. No answer yet. So I figured. You know, he's going to take that urn and try to get the dead man to accept his WrestleMania challenge. And then we have the general manager's office door right there. You come through and you will be inside the GM's office. But this is Vince's office right now. You'll see Vince McMahon at his desk talking to Brock Lesnar. 
And Brock Lesnar doesn't seem too happy because he has to put over Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 34. And um, he's going to have to drop his championship. And Roman Reigns is in there too. You know, they're going over the plans of how it's going to go down. And Brock's not happy, you know. He's, he's pissed off because uh, he wants a new contract and it doesn't seem like it's going to happen that way. And again, we have Cedric looking down into the office there. If we come back around to the hallway here and go back this way, you will see down this hallway past Shinsuke Nakamura, we have Jinder Mahal, and he is trailing the United States champion Randy Orton, a very confident Orton walking down the hallway there, but you know the modern-day Maharaja is not far behind. Right here, you will see the Raw Women's Champion, Alexa Bliss, talking to Mickie James, talking crap about Nia Jax, who is secretly spying on them behind the wall right there. And then over in this corner, we have probably what will be women's match of the night at Mania 34. Asuka telling Charlotte that she is not ready for Asuka. She is going to be taking that SmackDown Live Women's Championship and taking over the women's division in the WWE. But yeah, guys, that about does it for this WrestleMania 34 themed WWE action figure setup. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment down below what you thought of the setup. What matches do you hope are added to the card? I know that we do not have the full card just yet, but maybe I can redo it once we do have the full card. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.